the planet Jupiter, the planet of abundance and success, is in his second house. And the second house is about what you own. It's about your money. It's about your material foundation in life, but also about your value system. That means that his personal value system is a bit, um, is very generous with himself. <laughs> in a diplomatic That's way. Definitely not with the tax authorities. <laughs> very. But you see, then we look at the rising sign here, the ascendant of a chart, because the ascendant says, this is what your life task is about. And his rising sign is in Leo. That means that his life is about nobody else than he himself, just him. Yes. So if, I would, if I would have a new rising, I would say my life is about me, myself, and I, as they say in, in, in the United States. So for him, it, the idea to become significant is also a psychological compensation of his deep fear to feel. Mm. Then he's got the planet Mars also in Leo on the ascendant. And, the, and Mars is the energy and the willpower and also the idea to affirm. I mean, it's the, the willpower, the male willpower where you want to win and uh, affirm yourself. Yeah. And that means that the ego forces, his ego is incredibly big. It's bigger than his belly and his haircut, you know? <laughs> And that means that his ego is the driving force for everything does, everything he does to compensate the fear of deep emotions. It's, it's very interesting, especially if I may pick up on that, what you said, that actually the chart comes before the confirmation by any kind of analysis. I'm currently reading um, the book by Michael Cohen, who is, of course, um, was the, the lawyer for many, many years of Donald Trump. And he says exactly what you said early on, Alexandra. He said, you know, he has this dark side that can be kind. He is this cold person that can be warm. Um, he is is uh, as somebody that doesn't have any friends, it's, it's surrounded by a lot of people. And, you know, it really accumulates and kind of proves what you are reading in the chart, which are there or the chart that is there already since his birth. Yeah. And it's, you know, the thing is when you do like, I mean, like say traditional psychology, you make, you ask people about their past and they, you know, you try to find out the story of someone and then you, you build your psychological image of this personality. When you do a birth chart, you don't, you don't have any information. You just look at what's written in the stars. <laughs> <laughs>